in battle between them and the calling birds, turtle doves, French hens and partridge, made the battle of the Somme seem like one dirty wagon. The mother is on a bottle of whiskey a day, as well as the 60 grains of Valium. I am very annoyed with you, Governor. Day and nine. Listen, you louser. There's enough pandemonium in this place night and day without nine drummers drumming. While the eight flaming maids of milk and has beaten me poor old alcoholic mother out of her own kitchen and gobbling everything in sight. I'm warning you, you're making an enemy of me. Governor, day ten. Listen, manure face. I hope you will be haunted by the strains of the ten pipers piping which has sent to torment us last night. There were eight in the beaver work by those maniac drummers, and it wasn't a pleasant sight to look out the window and see eight hefty maids and milking ho going round to the ensuing pump rock up roar. My mother has just finished her third bottle of whiskey on top of 124 grains of Valium. You'll get yours. Good night, all you want to say. Day 11. You have scandalized my mother, your dirty Jezebel. It was bad enough to have eight maids of milk and dancing to pump music on the front lawn. But they've now been joined by your friends, the eleven lords of Eden, and the antics of the whole lot of the people must take it in days of the Roman Empire looking like outlook. I will get you yet, you old bite. Day 12. Listen, slurry head, you have ruined our lives. The twelve maidens dancing turned up last night and beat the living daylights out of the eight maids of Milton as they found and carry along with the eleven lords of Adam. Meanwhile, the swans that are the living home where they've been hiding since the big battle and savage to hell over the lords and all the maids. There were eight ambulances here last night and the locals to rid of fence as well. The mother is in a home for the bewildered and I'm sending you here to be neck and birds, goblins, and tea whiskey and valley of mothers, birds, goblins, and others with a frail and who eats the leaves off the pear tree when a broken man could be shown out as he